Similar scenes at the Great Northern in the Design District for their Pink Saturday block party, which was loaded with art and music. And Amanda Harry reports that safety was also a key part of the celebration. The Pink Saturday block party was filled with people having fun and expressing themselves. They say it's important to have spaces like this where they can feel comfortable truly being themselves. People here can be free without feeling judged. The Pink Saturday block party has been providing a safe and supportive place for the LGBTQ plus community for decades, and many people have continued to attend it year after year. Andre Frazo used to live in San Francisco. He now lives in LA, but still comes back for this block party and Pride weekend. It's like this, just like show how strong the San Francisco community is, especially like the LGBTQ plus community. He says when he looks around at this community, all the love and support gives him hope. Being able to just be out in the street, sometimes half naked, sometimes like dressed up crazy, it just show how the world, even though we're not in a perfect place, but it shows that the world has been evolving and things have been changing to the better. And he isn't the only person who traveled to celebrate and dance in the San Francisco streets. Alexander Monsano is visiting the city from Berlin. He says he appreciates how LGBTQ plus culture is celebrated in San Francisco. I mean, it's quite different from Berlin. Europe. Um, it seems really organized, which is really nice, and it seems like people put a lot of effort into putting the parties together, the decorations, the costumes, the outfits. The effort is something event organizer Lija Stadlin Brown says she's happy to put in to make this event happen for the queer community. I think it's really important that, you know, people who, you know, you know, don't always have the same opportunities as other people or, you know, get treated differently for whatever reason. Like, we gotta lift up the people around us. And, um, you know, I'm so happy to be a part of, like, celebrating this beautiful community. Frazo says despite moving out of San Francisco, he's always pulled back for the Pride celebration because of the community. Uh, I think feeling safe, it's when you can go out, no matter how you dress, no matter how you feel, um, without having, you know, that fear of being judged. The after party goes until 3 a.m. A lot of these same people say they'll be back out in the city tomorrow for the Pride Parade.